base hit, and this one is over. Giants come back with two in the tenth. With a chance to gain first place in the NL West, the Dodgers couldn't hold on. With a game tied at one in the tenth, Jeff Kent left the building to give L.A. an advantage. But in the bottom half, Jonathan Broxton's throwing error tied it. Then Aaron Rowan pushed a single through the drawn-in infield to win it. Giants stopped the Dodgers, 3-2. to two. Francisco Liriano won his second straight start since returning to the majors, holding the Royals to three runs over five and two-thirds. Delman Young homered in the first to give Minnesota the lead, and the Twins scored five in the sixth to break it open. Twins win 7-3. The Redbirds battered Carlos Zambrano to the tune of 10 hits and 9 runs. Troy Glau smashed two of the four homers hit off Big Z on the day. Todd Wellemeyer held Chicago to three runs over six and two-thirds. Cardinals rock Wrigley 12-3. The Brewers' bullpen must be bored. Ben Sheets fired a complete game shutout a day after CC Sabathia's nine-inning goose egg. Ray Durham and J.J. Hardy went back-to-back -back in the fourth. Then Corey Hart went solo in the fifth for insurance. Brewers gain a game on the Cubs in the standings with a 6-0 win over Washington. Daisuke Matsuzaka won his 13th, going eight innings, the longest he has in the majors. David Ortiz cleared the bases with a three-run double in the seventh, and Jacoby Ellsbury stroked a solo shot in the eighth. Red Sox stopped the pale hose, 6-2. Brett Myers fired seven and two-thirds of five-hit, one-run ball, striking out six Pirates. Jimmy Rollins went four for four, scoring two runs, and Chad Durbin earned his first save. Phillies topped the Pirates, four to two. Trailing four-two in the sixth, Mike Jacobs left the building with a man on to tie the game. Bottom six, Daniel Murphy drilled the first of his career in a three-run Met frame to regain the lead. In the ninth, Aaron Heilman notched his second save, and the Mets topped the Marlins, 8-6. Trailing 3-1 in the seventh, Garrett Anderson and Mike Napoli each hit solo home runs to tie the game. In the eighth, Vlad Guerrero left the building to give L.A. the lead. That ignited an eight-run frame, and the Halos pound the Yankees once more, 11-4. Paul Bird outdueled Roy Halladay, going the distance holding Toronto to two runs on six hits and winning his fourth straight start. David DeLucci had three hits and an RBI, and Ryan Garko drove in two. Indians caged the Blue Jays, four to two. Brian Moeller outdueled Bronson Arroyo, firing seven frames of one run ball. Lance Berkman hit a ribby single in the first, and Miguel Tejada belted a homer in the seventh. Jose Valverde notched his 28th save, and the Astros beat the Reds, three to one. Daniel Cabrera tossed six scoreless innings, winning his eighth. Brian Roberts scored three runs. Nick Markakis and Melvin Mora homered, driving in seven runs between them. Orioles mash out 14 hits, beating the Rangers 9 to nothing. Greg Maddox twirled six innings of two-run ball, striking out four Rockies and winning his 353rd game. That number puts him one behind Roger Clemens on the all-time list. Luis Rodriguez and Kevin Kuzminoff each had three hits, and Adrian Gonzalez hit his 28th. Padres win in Colorado, 8-3. Armando Galarraga went to 10-4, throwing five and two-thirds of two-run ball. Gary Sheffield, Edgar Renteria, and Miguel Cabrera all left the building in support, with Cabrera hitting two. Tigers maul the A's, 10-2. Jair Jurgens beat Danny Heron, going six innings, giving up three earned runs. Brian McCann led the offensive charge, driving a two-run homer in the first and knocking in four runs on the day. Braves score seven in the sixth and top the D-backs 11-4. Trailing 5-1 in the sixth, Tampa scored six runs in the frame to take a one-run lead. Bottom eight, Jeff Clement doubled to center for a run, then Ichiro singled to center to tie it at seven. In the 11th, Deanna Navarro's sack fly gave Tampa an edge. Then Troy Percival notched his 26th save. Rays beat the Mariners 8-7. This is Omar Reed for MLB.com, where baseball is always on.